Welcome to Morning Prayer on Monday the 1st of June. Following our celebration of Pentecost yesterday, we now enter into ordinary time with Eastertide having concluded. But today is actually a feast day, transferred from yesterday because of Pentecost. Today we celebrate the feast of the visit of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Elizabeth. This is the occasion when Mary, who by this time had been told that she was to bear Jesus, uh, goes to visit her cousin Elizabeth. And we're told that when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child in Elizabeth's womb, which is John the Baptist, leapt. And Elizabeth, who was filled with the Holy Spirit, said to Mary, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And Mary, in turn, uh, in her joy and expectation of bearing Christ, says the words that we now know as the Magnificat, my soul magnifies the Lord. So we give thanks for that beautiful encounter between two pregnant women who are both in their own ways enabling God's will and purpose for our salvation to become real. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger for ever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we are made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 150 Alleluia, O praise God in his holiness. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him upon the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dances. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him with ringing cymbals. Praise him upon the clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Alleluia. God of life and love whose Son was victorious over sin and death, make us alive with his life, that the whole world may resound with your praise, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. First reading is from 1 Samuel chapter 2. Hannah prayed and said, My heart exalts in the Lord, my strength is exalted in my God. My mouth derides my enemies because I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord, no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. The bowels of the mighty are broken, but the feeble gird on strength. Those who are full have hired themselves out for bread, but those who are hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. The Lord kills and brings to life. 
He brings down to Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He brings low, he also exalts. He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honour. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. He will guard the feet of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall be cut off in darkness. For not by might does one prevail. The Lord, his adversaries shall be shattered. The Most High will thunder in heaven. The Lord will judge the ends of the earth. He will give strength to his king and exalt the power of his anointed. The Canticle Send forth from your holy heavens, from the throne of your glory, send what is pleasing to you. O God of our ancestors and Lord of mercy, you have made all things by your word. By your wisdom you have formed us, to have dominion over the creatures you have made, to rule the world in holiness and righteousness, and to pronounce judgment in uprightness of soul. Give us the wisdom that sits by your throne. Do not reject us from among your servants. For we are your servants, with little understanding of judgment and laws. Even one who is perfect among us will be regarded as nothing without the wisdom that comes from you. With you is wisdom, she who knows your works, and was present when you made the world. She understands what is pleasing in your sight, and what is right according to your commandments. Send her forth from the holy heavens, from the throne of your glory send her that she may labour at our side, and that we may learn what is pleasing to you. For she knows and understands all things. She will guide us wisely in our actions, and guard us with her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Send wisdom forth from your holy heavens, from the throne of your glory, Send what is pleasing to you. Mark chapter 3, beginning at verse 31. Then Jesus' mother and his brothers came, and standing outside they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In the womb of Mary you found a dwelling place on earth, O Christ. Remain forever in our hearts.
we begin our prayers this morning with a reflection on the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth, written by Raymond Chapman. Did the sun shine there among the hills, casting light on the young girl filled with such amazing news? Now that angels were gentle as well as powerful, there was no fear, only awe and wonder, and the need to confide in that kind, wise woman, nearer in blood, older in generation. They embraced, Mary whispering her secret, and Elizabeth felt the strange stirring, not the usual movement, but a joy that ran through all her being, that her child was sharing the time of growth with his maker, and that this girl, known and loved from her own childhood, was to be the mother of the Lord. As Mary went away, the hills kept the secret for a season, that two women had shared woman's greatest joy, and the whole world was coming again to birth. And so on this day, as we give thanks for the encounter between Mary and Elizabeth, we pray for all women who are expecting children at this time. We give thanks for the mutual support of family and friends for their love and sympathy in the great moments of life. We pray especially at this time for families who are not able to meet up, to share that support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And just as Mary and Elizabeth, in their own way, enabled the whole world to come again to birth, so we pray that this day we might find the ways in which we are called to bring new life, new birth, the new growth of God's kingdom into this world. We pray for all Christians throughout the world that they too might be part of that work of new life and new birth, the work of the Spirit. Within the Anglican Communion we are asked today to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ in the Diocese of Nebraska, in America for Bishop Scott, for the Diocese of Akot in South Sudan, Bishop Isaac, and the Diocese of Irele in Eseodo in Nigeria, where there is currently a vacancy. And within our own Diocese of Coventry, we pray today for the parish of Stoneley and Ashow. We pray for their reader, Audrey Robry. We thank God for the much valued ministry of Nikki Moon. And during this vacancy, we pray for the church wardens as they face a possible prolonged interregnum. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And within our own parish, we dare pray today for the residents of David Way, from the electoral roll for Pat Pilton, and in this National Volunteer Week, we pray for all charities and organisations that are dependent on the time given by volunteers. We pray particularly as we consider the time when we can open up the churches of this parish, especially Holy Trinity, that volunteers might come forward who are willing to be in the church to welcome those who come for prayer and as visitors. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. And we hold before you, Heavenly Father, those we know to be in need, trouble or distress this day. We're asked to pray, especially for Tamsin Rand, Madeline Tallis, Gabrielle Edwards and for Dick Brooks. We continue to pray for Geoffrey Lees, having returned home from hospital. And we name before you, Heavenly Father, those we wish to pray for today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we commend to your eternal kingdom, Heavenly Father, those who have recently died, among them Rex Klingon, Ivy Radbourne, Bernice Jones, Benny Jones, Paul Mosley, Patricia Butler, Helen English and Stephen Shuttle. And in their years mind we remember this week Bill Campbell and Margaret Hurley. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So we place this day in your hands, Heavenly Father, praying that you might enable us to recognise how you are at work in others, just as Elizabeth recognised how you were bringing your will and purpose to bear in her cousin Mary. By your Holy Spirit, prompt us to sense how you are stirring us to new action, to new ways of being your people and building your kingdom in the places where we live and in our communities. And so a few moments of quiet for our own prayers. Mighty God, by whose grace Elizabeth rejoiced with Mary and greeted her as the mother of the Lord, look with favour on your lowly servants, that with Mary we may magnify your holy name and rejoice to acclaim her Son, our Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.